If you're making your list and checking it twice for any holiday shopping expenses, it's important to also take precautions and minimize the chances of becoming a victim of credit card fraud. Schools First Federal Credit Union offers services and tools to help people manage their financial wellness. And today for Financial Wellness Wednesday, School First Branch Manager Tamara Beaver is here with tips and tools to avoid credit card fraud. Welcome, Tamara. Hi, Desiree. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, happy to have you on. Now, Tamara, during the holidays, so many people are swiping their credit cards to make purchases. Do you notice this time of year as a peak time for credit card fraud? Yes, you know, this time of year is just a peak time for fraud in general. But when you really drill it down, specifically credit card fraud, a lot of online shopping going on right now so that we are exposing ourselves in so many different ways to fraudsters. So it's really important that we remain kind of vigilant and protect ourselves and our financial information. And at this time of year, we are inundated with shopping ads, either online or in our email. How can someone know if the ads they see are authentic? It's really difficult because they do such a great job of looking like they are from a legitimate website or company or merchant. So you really want to look at the spellings. Um, a lot of fraudulent ads or emails have misspellings or grammar inconsistencies. So you want to look for those types of things. You want to look for those too good to be uh, true deals because typically they are. Um, but if you still are so drawn in to an ad, what you really want to do is go visit that website or that merchant directly. Um, that way you know that you are on at least a secure website. And one of the ways you can tell if you're on a secure website is when you enter the email or I'm sorry, the web address, you should see a lock icon followed by HTTPS and that S coupled with the lock icon shows you that you're at least on a secure site so you can feel comfortable um, shopping through that merchant. That's so important to know because I feel like there are so many creative ways that they can kind of trick people into thinking they're on a legit website when they're not. And so once I know Absolutely. that I'm on an authentic website, Tamara, are there other steps I can think about taking to further protect my information? Absolutely. So one of the things that I recommend is that if the merchant or website has the option to uh, check out with a virtual wallet, so a virtual wallet such as uh, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, we see a lot. If the merchant has that option, select that. Use that PayPal account because the payment happens between your virtual wallet and the merchant directly and your information is not shared. So use that option if it's available. And if it's not, um, the recommendation is that you use a credit card rather than your debit card. And when we think about our debit cards, those are linked to our checking account. So that's our disposable cash that we have for the things that we need from day to day. So using um, your credit card protects you from your account potentially being drained. Okay, and so if using your credit card, if that's the best route, which cards are the best to use, especially around the holidays? So the banker in me wants to tell you the one with the lowest interest rate, but I think it's the most important that you come up with a plan to only use one card if you can through the holidays. Um, the reason for that is it's easier to track the expenses that you are you know, swiping your card for. You can review your statement so that if there is anything that's fraudulent um, or that you don't recognize, you're able to see it easier. And you know, I have so many things attached to my cards. Having to close multiple cards just creates more of a headache. So keeping it to one card and then making sure that you're setting up alerts on that card. Most credit card companies or financial institutions allow for alerts where if you say, I want you to tell me when I have a transaction that's over a certain dollar amount, you will get an alert so you can look for things that may not seem authentic or you're not sure about. Um, and within that alert, you can lock your card so that if you do see something, you could say, okay, nothing else can go through until I have time to kind of review and investigate if this is a legitimate charge. Wow, these tips are really helpful. And let's say after all this, if <laughs> someone does become a victim of credit card fraud, what should they do? Yeah. Absolutely reach out to your credit card company as soon as possible or your financial institution. Come in and see us um, if your card is with us. And we can go through the steps of getting that card blocked so that no other fraudulent activity can happen on your card and get working towards getting you the credit um, back to your account. Perfect. Thank you so much, Tamara. And for more financial tips and resources, visit schoolsfirstfcu.org.